Hello, welcome to a new tutorial video from Doc365. In this video, I will show you how to create a new post button into your SharePoint site. I'm Alex from Doc365. We will be using a button web part to create a new post button here. Uh, the button web part actually has a lot more applications, but here we will show you how to use a button web part to create a new post button. A new post button can make creating new news posts and publishing them more easily. Actually, there are one or more options to create new news posts in a SharePoint site. But uh, we want to make sure that uh, our site members are able to create new news posts uh, more easily. So this is how you can do that. This is one of our communication sites here. We actually use this site to create and share news regarding our marketing team. So this web part here is a news poster web part. So all uh, marketing news is shared here by creating new news posts. So all posts will be uh, displayed here. So by default, uh, there is an add option here. By clicking here, you can choose news posts and create new news posts. And another way to create this is uh, uh, by clicking on the new option at the top. And there's also an option to create news post here too. So, uh, but uh, we want to place a button uh, below this web part uh, to let our team members create news posts uh, more easily. So that's what we want to, uh, we are going to show you here. So first, uh, let's take this site to edit mode. Click on the edit option from the top and the site is now in edit mode. So let's add a new web part just below the news web part here. We are going to add a new web part here. So click on the plus icon just below the existing web part. And let's just search for the button web part here. So uh, choose the button web part from the search results. And the button web part is added here. Click on the edit option and you will see that you can uh, add a label. That's the name of the CTA or the button. And you can also press and a link here. And there is also an option to decide or assign the button alignment. Let's give the button the name, uh, add a new post, add a new post. Now uh, it's time to give the link here. So uh, the link to the new uh, news posts uh, look like this. So this is how the new, new news post creation uh, URL looks like. So what we want to do is we need to replace uh, the highlighted sections with your tenant name and your site name. So I'm going to uh, do that right now. The tenant name for us is uh, Global Infonet and uh, the site name is Doc Marketing News. So let's uh, update that and the URL is ready. So let's copy this URL. So once the URL is ready, you can copy that and paste it in the link option here. We will also like to give the, choose the uh, button alignment as uh, sender. And once it is ready, you can republish the page by clicking on the republish option at the top and the site is now ready to go live. Yes, it is live now. So as you can see, the button is added here. Yes, uh, it is leading to uh, a new post uh, creation uh, page. So uh, that's what we wanted. So uh, whenever my team has a new uh, news to share or if they want to create a new news post, they can just click on this button and the news post will be uh, displayed here. So that's a very easy process and that's what we wanted to show you. Try this option and let us know how it went for you. We are interested to know about your experiences. Uh, we'll come up with a new 
tutorial video soon have a good day